Hello again, my friends. Two videos on one day. I haven't managed that, but it's raining outside. So I decided to do a second short little one uh, about one of the main reasons also why I bought the 700i and not something like a, a XT, Sumo XT for the motorcycle. And that is the way it handles waypoints. So look at that one here. Here we got a route planning, which I did for the last weekend which includes a few points where I'm setting specific symbols, like this one here. Can I click that? Yep, that's a cabin I wanted to visit. And you see that I have assigned a specific symbol here, this little cabin. There are quite... Here we are. It's a bit difficult to, <laughs> to look at the screen at the same time at the phone. You can choose there are a lot of different symbols in uh, Basecamp. Um, so I have certain systematics in there for my own point. For example, if I have a barrier over the ray, um, which I can pass, I can make it green-red. If it's a barrier I cannot pass, it's red. If it's a barrier which is totally open, uh, it's green, something like that. Then you have campgrounds, you have special places of interest in nature, you have houses, or, well, you have this little cabin, which you see there in the background. So this is now marked here in the map. And what happens if I transfer that to um, the GPS? First of all, not all GPSs are doing this correctly. Let me show you. Here, it's cool, huh? I'm using a wine glass as a tripod, works nicely. Here I got a an old road GPS, which I bought some years ago before my car had one. I don't even know what model that is, but a very simple road GPS, which you just bought to find addresses when I have a rental car and to find from A to B, to get from A to B. So if I go here into the destinations, um, what the software is doing now, it's not keeping that symbol, uh, which I have assigned, like that cabin up there. It's all putting it in favorites, and it would come up here as a favorite in that list. Now, these are not the same waypoints. This is not the cabin, but just to show you an example, um, that's how it will be marked. The symbol is gone. It's basically just a heart um, in a in a green um, in a green box. So like that one. So that cabin symbol, which we saw there on the screen, will be gone, and it's just a heart. If I do a geocache, it's the same. If I mark a, a hiking trail, it's the same. That was already the case when I bought a Sumo 365, I think, some years ago for the Canada trip I did. It's simply messing up all these symbols. They are all just marked as a favorite. Yes, you can later go in there and uh, change that symbol. But come on, I'm doing maybe dozens or a hundred for a long trip. Um, I don't want to want to go in manually. And anyway, the symbols you saw in Basecamp are not available in these GPSs. And that is the same for the current model, the Sumo XT, which is marketed as a motorcycle um, uh, GPS. So let's see how the... Uh, change the screen, please. How it's done here. Here, let's see, we need to find that one. And for finding, I can just tap... I need to adjust my wine glass tripod a little bit. I can just tap the magnifying glass up there, go to the waypoints. And there are quite a few in here already. I've been putting, for example, all the wind shelters in Sweden in there. Then there are uh, parking sites for geocaches and other stuff. So the easiest way to is basically, since I know what symbol it is, to look for a symbol. And you see I have the cabin here. And here it is. It is import it with the same symbol for the waypoint and now we're losing gps reception it is imported with the same waypoint uh, symbol as it is here in base camp so basically garmin's outdoor gps systems like the montana series even the old ones we are doing it correctly we're using the same symbol as in the software while all road navigation gps is like that piece here, which just even has a uh, bad battery, obviously, uh, or even the motorcycle uh, GPS uh, devices, um, just to sign this green heart, which I find totally silly, uh, because I cannot then distinguish with one blink of an eye uh, on the first view, what kind is that? And you see, I have a few in there already. Um, let's go back, we need to go back and back. 
waypoints. If we do that again, if you know what you're looking for, um, you simply can choose the symbol here, for example. Do I have any mountain? Oh yeah, I have marked a special mountain in there. Kungshoek Helen, because there is a tower up there, but actually I've been sleeping on the tower, and that comes also with the correct symbol. And of course, if you know the name, you can also search for name, uh, for the name in that list. Let's do just Kungs, the king, by the way, in Swedish. Let's see if he finds that. Kungshoek Helen, there it is, yes. So this search function is really nicely implemented and I really like that it takes the correct waypoints. A big bonus point for the Montana 700i. Thanks for watching.